Now that should. Oh, that's the one I meant to be looking at. Now I don't. Yeah, that should. Oh, that's the one I meant to be looking at. Get rid of that. Mm. This is all new. Hang in there. Hang in there. We're trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, I tell you. How's that look? Look at that, isn't that swish? You like it? I think it looks great. It's new, new apron, just finished. But this is all right, I'm going to do a couple more. This is, this is going to be, oh, hello, Bob. Bob's in the shop. Bob doesn't care, but providing there's people and food, he's happy. Now, we're, we're doing this a bit differently. Oh, hang on. I might be able to wait one. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I'm excited. I've got the chat room up. Whoops. All right. Now, this, this, is, this is Susie's in a sanctum. Where's dog? Oh, there he is. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do it live from the sewing room because... You right now, Bob? Where is he? Oh, you, there he is, the Bobster. We're doing it live from Susie's sewing room because we couldn't get anything else happening. Let me just make sure. So everything at the moment is all higgledy-piggledy. This is a purely experimental stream. And we'll see how we get. What do you reckon, eh? Pretty cool. So I'm going to make another one like this. And, oh, Bob! That's Bob getting all excited hitting his tail um, and then I'll cut one out from scratch and we might get another one done but what I thought I'd do first first of all I'll say good day to everyone which I'll have to do this is horrible not using a mouse I much prefer using a mouse and I've, I haven't got the USB ports left so I can't use a mouse that's why but oh no hang on I can use arrows can't I there we go so, good morning Prunella how are you my dear and, and I've, got, I've got the suey next to me. There you go. So, we've got Prunella, Andy, Trevor, Ray, David Flanagan, also from the UK. Uh, da -da 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 Derek Gay, mate, long time no see. Happy Sunday to you too, mate. Daniel, hello. Welcome to Sue's Sewing Sanctum. Um... For solitude. For solitude, yeah. Louise, g'day, how are you? We are well. We are well. I'm, I'm like a frog out of water in here, I'll tell you. Uh, no, it's a fish out of water, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah, it but, is. but, oh, speaking oh, of which, I'm, water, yeah, but no, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the air con on. Come on, Bob, out you go. Because I'm hot. Come on, Bob, out. I'll let you know. It's a lot smaller than my, let me just turn the air conditioner on. And I want... 21 degrees would be nice. Ah, oh, dear, dear. Ah, oh, there we go. Good morning, Mike. Gee, I tell you what, that'd freeze a... That'd freeze. <laughs> Don't oh, go there. That's cold, isn't it? Uh, good morning, Mike. Ah, uh, dear Davey, g'day, mate. How are you? Um, Tony, g'day, how are you? Lovely to have you in the sewing room. Yeah, all great new apron. Yeah, well, we're going to make one exactly the same as this, and then I'm going to do one a bit differently, uh, which I'll cut out. That's if we've got the time. I've got two just in case. Or something could fail here, and this could be a very short stream. I don't know. Eric! Eric! Eric, good morning! Daniel says, hello, Sue. Hello. Uh, Bob Angel, hello everyone. I'm more conscious now of the mess. It's hello Sue way. and your sewing room and hello Bob. No, I just kicked Bob out, he's getting under feet. Apron turned out very nice. Well, I'll show you how I make them. He is one excited little puppy, you got that right. Louise said morning, Trevor says morning, Dobie says morning. This is all to you, not me, oh, this is all you, this is all you. Oh, yeah. oh look, it's not cold enough to be... A fortress of solitude. Oh, I tell you what, oh, it was pretty hot last night. <laughs> Ian, good morning. Oh. 
I Tony, no, I say this dream will go for. Oh, I love your optimism. G'day, John. How are you? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, it's a bit cool up here in the hills today. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put that down to 22 degrees. Uh, Wombat, g'day, mate. And Tom, not a first timer. I watch data, just figured out how to chat. Oh, good on you, mate. Two thumbs up. Joining oh. the mayhem and the, the, um, the, yeah, the mayhem. No, that's yeah, it. That's isn't it. it. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. All right. Well. When we two get together and doing this. Well, that's good, John. It's not good you're tired. It's good that you're great. Hey, do you know the wind leader coming up to 40 days? I didn't think <laughs> I'd make that. Yeah, you see that? That is, you're an idiot. You should slow down. Because I get a bit exhausted when I finish, don't I? Yes, yeah, you do. but I made a commitment, eh? Yeah. And if nothing else, I'll keep my word. Yes. Yeah, that's why I'm with. listen to me. I do! sometimes. Well, no, 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 let's get it straight. I do listen to you. I don't pay any attention yeah, to what you say, but I do listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. 60 people, John. Way where the gag at eight peoples. Morning, Yvonne. How you going? Or Hope, if you're still there, and Elijah, and, 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 and Ruby, and, oh. It'll come going, to me in a minute. Going? No, no, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. That, that was, they were the ones. G'day, Barry. Oh, I love hearing you two go on. Yeah, well, <laughs> we do. Oh, it's my life. Oh, what can I tell you? Be nice. No, the people, people. I won't let you be using my machine. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, look, look, excuse me, excuse me. I'm just going to go, look, look, if it's your machine, if your machine, right, right, if it's your machine, Explain to me why it's got brother on it, right? You're not my brother. The, you know, right, it's not your machine either. Fine. <laughs> uh, oh, what happened there? We went all funny. Um, did, were we, were we, we were just reading that. People were watching us read. That's dull, isn't it? Yeah, very dull. <laughs> People say I talk too much, but the only reason I do that is then she hasn't got time to nag me. Oh dear, I'm all excited. What are you going to do? I'm going to give her the face. Her the face. Yeah. Where, where's the face? Where's? Hang on. buttons you i always are, push buttons champion of pushing buttons okay we need our camera down so as people can see what what we what's happening there you go wonderful okay like that. Shall I pull it back a bit? No. no 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 don't be all ornery i'm not ornery there okay you go. all right push our magic button and we will see what happens all right back in the tick. Can you read the chat from there too? Just no. <laughs> no? All right. I'll <laughs> so I apologise people if I um, uh, appear to be rude and not reading the chat because my glasses don't go that far. 
And if they do, I'm going to wreck what you're watching. So, I just hope that everybody is having a good day. So, these are the magic little things and, yeah. Great machine, I love it. See if I can read some of this. This isn't sewing. <laughs> no, it's just sitting watching everything happen. It's pushing a few buttons and walking away. Yeah, but sure, sure enough, if you walk away, that's when it stuffs up. There is a lot of other sewing that goes along with it. about having something like this that yes you can just push the buttons and walk away um, yes you can but as I said if you um, you know sure enough if you walk away too far it'll stop it'll run out of bobbin it'll do whatever then you come back and only half of what's done or half of what you expect to be done is done Oh, I was going to say the master from the master class has just come back. The good thing about having something that, as somebody said there a minute ago, you just got to push a button, that can be done while you're doing other things. So it's utilising the time. Um, so you're not sitting around all the time, just basically doing nothing, I suppose. But if you're tired or something like that, it's good to just sit, chill out and watch it work. It's magic. Somebody up there, I did catch a, a bit of a glimpse of the chat a minute ago, um, said they saw some machines at a craft show in Perth, I think it was. Um, yeah, you, you get a lot of them, and there's a lot of really fancy machines out there. Um, this happens to be a full... Fancy, underline, expensive. 
yeah, it's expensive as well. Um, this is a four thread. I've also got a single thread behind me. Um, this is it. <laughs> That's after Wilma divorced him. He became a single thread. Yeah, he did become a single thread. My first one was a single thread, which my darling bought for me along with his dad and his sister. Oh, the story was, I really wanted, yeah, this will take up a few minutes. Um, I really wanted this machine and I've been going into this shop. I was looking after Steve's dad, who was 24-7 care, um, a lot of reasons. And, um, you know, I kept looking Actually, it wasn't the machine I got, it was the one down from it. And I was just stand there and be in absolute awe of what this machine could do. Anyway, that's all right. After a couple of months of living in awe, I, um, Steve said to us one day, come on, we'll, we'll go for coffee up to this particular suburb. Okay, so I, we did that. And we're sitting there having coffee and he disappeared. Uh, where the hell's he gone? And then the next thing I look around and he's coming from the opposite side of the road, which is not where he was going to go. And uh, he said to me, oh, that machine that you like, it's working over there if you want to go and have another look. Okay, so I went over there and he took his dad in the wheelchair and I'm sitting there and um, he, he goes, oh, what are you looking that for that for, you know? You can't afford it, you know, it, it's too expensive, it's too high tech. It's, and, and really, really started to razz me out. Well, I was ready to punch him out by this stage. And he and his dad came over to the shop and he continued to razz me out anyway. As I was about to walk out of the shop, in tears, I may add, he turned around and he said, oh, well, why don't you take that one on the floor? And I went, yeah, I'm sure they'd appreciate it if I pinched it. And he turned around and he pulled the receipt out and said, it's yours. Well, that didn't help my near crying. And he thought it was hilariously funny and so did
dressed. So I put me, me super cape on and we'll get into it. Okay, toots. There you go. All right. I've got one. Now let me get rid of these batteries. So I came prepared. I've got new batteries. Can you read the chat from there? Oh. You can sit on my seat if you like. Or hang on, we'll move. We'll move this camaruka. Yeah, don't move the computer because that's yeah. that's sensitive. Then we lose everything. Uh, we don't do that. No. Um, yes, the gremlins have got our system, right? Uh, it's all right. We're all good. Yep. <laughs> Try not to read them aloud if you're on the mic. Okay, let's go. Bob's having a chat about something. Um, all right. Can am I in the middle of that shot? Yes. Sir. Okay. I, it's very hard because I'm not in front of the screen, so I can't exactly see what everyone else can see, but. What we will do, I'll actually go off of this, this shot here. Um, if you want to scroll down, use the arrows. Yeah. Oh, okay. That works a lot better. Um, okay. I'll go. Uh, they've missed everything from when I was talking about my first machine. All right. So well. Did they get the story of your first machine? No, they missed all they, that. They missed all that. That's when the audio jumped out. I don't know how this is going to work, mm. but we'll give it a go. Yeah. Julian said not a plan in a plan inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pair of sharp scissors, though. Yep. Okay. Now, if I go that one there, that one's not going to work. There. rubbish this is all right you you have a chat and i'll no you can't i'll, I'll just go and get an extension lead
All right. Because I just, I don't want the, oh, I don't want the um, power to die. There we go. That should get that one happen nicely. Is it? Yep. Okay. All right. So these are the templates that we made. Which camera am I on? This is. There we go. Okay. Good. Okay. These are the templates we made the other day. And. My Bunnings belt, but I haven't got everything on it. So first off, you get your fabric and you fold it in half, and you go the lengthwise. Don't go widthwise because your stretch is going to be in the wrong direction. It's all to do with warp and width. Isn't that right, darling? And this this crinkly stuff here on the corner can you see that on that shot darling yeah yeah it's um that's called selvage which you don't really want that either so you cut that off get template place it over your fabric have it as close to the fold as you can square like that and square up the top. I prefer a rotary cutter. And all you do is just run that <coughs> up and around that little corner. I'm sure we've got a nice clean cut there. Take that little bit out. <clears throat> I have to do that because my um, cutting board isn't that wide. Actually, we might just we'll cheat. We'll slide another cutting board underneath there. Is the blade sharp enough? Yep. There you go. That will give you the body of the apron. Now, bearing in mind what I'm doing here, I'm making an apron that's got side pockets in it, like, can you see those pockets, Tricky? Yeah. yeah. Side pockets in it like that. Most aprons don't, but I like to be different. They're called set in. Uh, uh, is that what they're called? Set in. That's the main body one. Then the next one we want, are the side panels. So again, from here, put your side panel down, leave it folded, and if you do it this way, you get a right and a left panel. This is the best way to utilize your fabric I've found. Um, K, K A I. The other one, okay, the other ones we have uh, Ol Olga or something or other, Olaf? Olaf, yeah, there's the other ones. Now, I've got a snip here because between the two boards, you don't get a clean cut, so just anywhere it's just tagged on, just knock it off with a pair of scissors. The two side panels. <clears throat> and then you want two nice long lengths of three inches, which is this one here. 
And did you see that? That's where that bowl that I made the other day. It's a pin bowl now. Yeah. I, I had it and Susie pinched it. <laughs> ah. Oh, why not? I just knocked me pins over. Oh, okay. See, if I was in my workshop, I'd have a... Oh, you've got a magnet broom up here, haven't you? I have. Unless the kids can get it. That's all right. Okay. So, now we'll have a straight strip. Down here. And we'll knock this bit off here. Well, I it's a great yeah, I reckon it is too. <whistles> so what these two strips are here one is for it's got to have a flash name the the inserts of the pockets and the other one is used for the neck strap I feel like I'm cleaning fish I don't know why <laughs> Uh, what have we got? We've got two sides, we've got main body, we've got those straps. Now we've got to cut out the pockets, which is this one here. And for that, <clears throat> I think that's all we need out of that fabric so we just fold that up neatly and put it away like I do in my workshop don't you laugh Susan no, Let me such a thing. reach under here grab some calico because I like calico that, that, excuse me no mine 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 <laughs> and then we'll just cut a bit off that looks pretty darn close there Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. So he said if she runs out of material, she's going to attack my bank account. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four. That's it there. I'm just going to press this. I'm going to ironing press over here. We'll just press that down for a couple of seconds. Then I will be back. There we go. Put the pocket on there and just cut around there. Yep, quarter inch. You can um, make the pockets different size, you know, compared to whatever you desire. It doesn't matter. So there's four pieces of fabric there. And there are your two pockets. One pocket, two pockets. There's a complete... <laughs> there's a completed one, which I'll show you. We'll do that when we start sewing. And now all my, all my aprons are all lined as opposed to the ones you buy that aren't and for that we need this way okay so that's a full size apron there so calico out hey 
Am I better off to go this way? Oh, I suppose I am, aren't I? I'll be back yeah. Okay. Well, we'll go that way there. And actually, the offcuts from this part, you can. Uh, don't you wish timber had cut like that? Oh, look at that! That's it. Another roll gone. Oh, sorry, Bob. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to knock the wrinkles out of this. Hey, Susie, bring your face over here. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, you could cook with them. Oh. Actually, I might just change that. Okay, that's because I'm only running. That. Is it back again? One, two. Is it back? I don't know. That's insane. Oh, let's see. Um, okay, all right. Now I'll keep it on that shot. <clears throat> Bada bum bum bum. Yeah, no, it's I haven't got audio on that camera. So if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that, and that'll give me audio. Sorry, I made a mistake, because this is all set up for blacksmithing. And I haven't got all the cameras on, so yeah, a lot of it's a bit how you go on. But we'll go back to this one now. Okay, so now that's in half. <coughs> and we will see if I can actually get that in one. I won't. Okay, I'm going to have to twist this a bit, which I don't want to. What, another piece of... No, no, it's just it's the end of the roll. It, it doesn't line up square, so I'll just do it this way. We'll do it this way. Can you press that button there? I would use water, but my wife uses ironing aid. There you go. <whistles> Takes me back. If I start, uh, start ironing greens, I'm in trouble. Or two. Yeah, well, you've got the, the camera. Yeah, well, there you go. All right, now we're back over here. Lay this on there. And this will be the um, backing of the apron. Mm. 
Bada ba bum. Here we go. So there are all the parts to an apron. Oh, now the last part which we do is webbing. You can use cloth if you want. It just happens I've got webbing. And I just want two lengths of nine inches. So we just measure off. Close enough to nine inches, it doesn't really matter. And that's for the um, tie at the back. John said that he can't believe this people and the nurses haven't said a word yet. <laughs> what? Are they gobsmacked because the guy is doing some sewing? Uh. Okay, so that's all ready to rock and roll. We might put that one together later. At the moment, what? John said if he opens his mouth, he gets the death stare. <laughs> I know that feeling. Okay, we'll keep that one out. That one we don't need. That one we don't need. That one we don't need. So we're going to put those. Oh, no, that's all right. We can put those up there. There, we can go there. All right. So we'll go back and do this camo one that I've got here. And here's the, here's the process of putting it all together. If I can find a pencil. I bought a pencil up. I thought I'd need that. It's a nice sharp one too. I don't know if there's any sharp ones in here. Oh yeah, no, I, got, I found it, I found a stuff. Call up the dogs. Okay, first off, we got to say the pocket lining, which we can do in the TikTok. Are you sure you do it right? Yeah, that's what I got you here for. <laughs> um, I, I, had a, I had one of those moments. Yeah, that I did three of them, didn't I? The last one, I just couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, we will have to sew the pockets. I oh, actually, I had a thought with these. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've got it again. Okay, so if I do, I just don't know if this is going to work. If I did that one that way, or I just thinking. That's all right, Prunella. I reckon all guys should learn how to sew and cook. Then that one can go that way. What, is that a couple of weeks between getting married and leaving home? Possibly. Oh, look at that. It works, I think. I think that'll work. I had this idea last night and I thought, I wonder if that'll work. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Where's my pins? Tony, you reckon that I need to um, put some paw print, embroider some paw prints for it? He can't, she can't hear you. Yeah, what? Paul reckons you should do Tony, some paw prints. Tony reckons, Tony reckons, that we need to ask me to embroider some paw prints. Oh, well, we did, we did have some paw prints once. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to, I was thinking of having to go at, <laughs> have Bob, Bob is my mentor. I don't know if this last one's going to fit, and I haven't done this before, but I'm thinking. 
I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. I'll do two. Ow! It stuck me. All right. I'll, I'll do two. We'll go over. And now I was thinking if I put these opposite sides, it should work, shouldn't it? If not, it doesn't matter. Okay, so if we go to here, we're at the machine. We're at the business end. Where's your chair? Behind you. Oh, okay. Oh, oh dearie, dearie, dear. Here we go. It's it's all it's all happening. It's all going. It is, isn't it? It's all. Whoop! Oh, let's come down. Down, baby, down. Here we go. And I've just realised. Mm -hmm. I'll move that back there. I've just realised. I've got the wrong thread in there. Can you tell me when that's in focus? We'll see if we can. Yeah, that's. Uh, there you are. They're good? Okay, I'll go a little bit back that way so you can... There we go. So they can see me giving you a treat. No, 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 so they know... They know that I'm actually doing they something. They know you're doing it. <laughs> it is. Oh, dear. And I've got the wrong thread on. So, I've just got to... You know, when I first bought this machine, yes, when I first bought this machine. I didn't want to look like a complete zoob, so I actually sat in the car for an hour learning, learning how to thread it. And that was about as good as me and my first machine, my first embroidery machine. Yeah. Actually, what we, if we're going to do this again, I think we, um, we'll bring the zoom mic out. Mm. This is like adjusting an H and T Gordon plane. <laughs> Takes a while to get used to it, but once you got it, it's good. Here we go. This is to test your eyesight. I'm coming through the machine for me, Dale. <laughs> it's got a thread on it. Doesn't always work. It's got a thread on it. Yeah, but when I poke it in, it always works. So. There we go. Pick up the bobbin thread. We're good to go. Okay. I hope. Here we go. Here, here we go. Here goes nothing, Ollie. I'm going to try this one first because I'm not sure if what I'm proposing here is actually going to work. Where's me pinja? We're going to have to make two. Yep. Especially, especially if this is going to be my sewing room. Ha! <laughs> she says. Okay. When you start, you want to do a couple of stitches. See that? It <laughs> came out again. I don't trust that automatically. How come I'm getting knots in me do that? Oh, it's up. Mm. Um, this machine basically hasn't changed for years, is it? No. Ah. Oh. Yeah, Susan's right. It does have an automatic threader, but the automatic threader automatically doesn't work. People are saying they can't see a lot of this, but it's the light. On, your, on the machine. Well, we'll turn the light off. Is that better? That better? Doesn't matter, I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> that's, 
It's all right. We aim to please. There you go. So you can't. Hang on. Let me. Oh, yeah, you can't either. All right. So what I do is go in about, oh, I don't know, half an inch. I'm using three stitches per inch. Then come back, which locks it. I've got a quarter inch foot on. And away we go. Come to the end, lock stitch. It's got an automatic cut off that actually worked that time. Okay, so. Is that, that's not going to work, is it? That's the wrong way around. You've done it on the wrong side. Oh, well, there you go. The great thing about this is if you sew, so, no, 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 if you're sewing with your wife, you've got advice at hand all the time. <laughs> I, I just, I haven't tried it this way before. So we'll, we'll rip if that. If you want to cut that one off, I'll unpick it for you. Oh, well, there you go. All right, you could do that. I was going to, I was going to do. Give me an no, I've got an unpicker with me. See so if you do, if you do these singularly, it's not so confabulating. Yeah. All right, we'll try it again. Tony said, "Don't stitch your fingers." No, I've been around machines long enough to know that trick. Yeah. And I used to use really heavy duty ones. There you go, there's a bit of speed. Better than a router, that one. Yeah. Uh, he did a lot of his training on um, industrial machines. Oh, I did. Okay, so that goes that way. I just want to see if it's going to work. So if I do that one this way, that's all I want to know, if it's going to work. <laughs> are we still got people watching or are they giving up on us? <laughs> okay. And I like the machine set for needle down. So that means when I finish sewing, the needle is in the downward position. Renella said she wanted to stitch into her hand and that was a pleasant experience. I can imagine not. Yes, I can as well. <sighs> okay, so I don't... Seam ripper! Reverse sewer. Where are we? Here we go. Now I'll, I'll get it. Oh, you're going to do it, are you? I'm going to do it. I don't think this idea is going to work, but I'll anyway. I just thought it might save you some time. No, I, I just, I just, I enjoy doing that. Mm. No, Tony said, no, we're all here. We're enjoying, yeah, but don't worry about it. Saddest. Mm. So oh, they're all waiting for Using one of these things is every chance you're going to see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not as noisy as a router, but it's just as deadly. Yeah. Okay. Industrial machines are a bit scary, yes, I know. I have one did 6,000 stitches a minute. This one will do 1,500 stitches a minute. That one over there does what? Oh, that, that's about 6,000. Yeah, industrial, industrial overlock. overlocker. If you put your finger up there, you're halfway up your arm before you say ouch. <laughs> yes. All right, so I've done that one, I've done that one. I just want to see if... If what I want to do, that's a bit short there because I'm going to oh, miss that. I wear me skizzers. I got me got me multi belt on. Oh dear. Okay. So if I do that there, I can come in there on that one. Yes. And I can come in. All back to front and bum about face, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if I go there, yeah. is that going to? Another 
that's all right, that'll work. Yeah. Well, there's, there's your um, doobie doobies. So there are your pocket liners. Now, if I did it right, oh, look, it worked. Wow, oh, I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Then again, it doesn't take much to impress me. <laughs> Uh, Tony said you're doing great. Oh, thank you. All right. So, but it was it's the pockets I get confused to cater on. Everything else is good. Yeah, Tony said you're doing great, only because you've got a wise counsel of a wife that helps you. Yeah, this. just back. I was sewing before I met her. <laughs> I was too. You were. I was. But you were sewing different things. Yeah. But my life depended on what I was sewing in those days. <laughs> okay, here we go. Literally. So once you've done this bit, then we can actually start sewing things together. Things together. All right, smarty pants. Which way do I go this way? That way. Hello, Is that going to do it? Oh. Anthony's coming because he hasn't seen Papa on a sewing machine before. Any more food? In the freezer. Where you found those ones? You'll just have to sit on them for a while before you can eat them and hatch them. Did you just wake up? No. Well, how come you still got your PJs well, on? Go anyway. yeah, in the freezer, darling. I'm going to show everyone you and your PJs. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, don't bother. You'll be going back to bed soon. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Tony well, asked, what were you sewing? Parachutes. Parachutes, because he used to be a paratrooper. And a parachute rigger. We had to mend them, make them and test them. Yes. You want a confidence boost? Try that. <laughs> okay. Let's go over, we'll cut these pockets to shape. Then we can put it together once. Actually, the pockets take the longest time, I think. Did I get it right? Finally, I did. I done good. All right, let's go over there. We'll cut these off. Mark where they're going to be. And. Uh, but the parachute's made out of silk. Nylon. Nylon. British, the British ones were PX7 Second World War shoots. And just before I changed trades, uh, we switched over to the US T10s, which was a ripstop material, which you didn't have to sew patches on that, you used to put uh, double-sided sticky stuff on. Good. Okay, now we get the finished pocket template. Does that come up, Suey? Yes, darling. Good. Put the pockets, oh, hang on, we're pressing, we're pressing first. I'll just go over here to this. See if we can do two at once. There we go. She's going to send me a bill for fabric condition in there. <laughs> Truly. Cost me at least an apple turnover. Oh, at least. Maybe two. Okie dokie. These two nicely pressed ones. And do these two. And that one can go there. All right. Asked if the apron was for me. No, it's for him. No, it's the top shed and the bottom shed. Okay. So we line these up. 
pin them together. I don't know why, but I always like pinning away from myself. It's just, just one of those things, and I pinned that wrong too, didn't I? Or did I? No. Oh, hang on, no, it doesn't matter. So I'm, I'm, I'm cutting them at the moment. So. I only reckon you could eat some lace on the new one. Just oh, I'm, I'm sure she's got some around here, Tony. Frilly lace, that is. Now, I don't know. This one might be a bit short. We'll find out. Okay. This is the finished pocket size. Yeah, just make sure she's lined up reasonably well. Place that there Whoop. Dum -ba -dum -bum. and a bit off the bottom maybe Okay, that's one pocket set. Same with this one. Tony said you're such a good sport. <laughs> I have to be, I'm married. <laughs> that was Tony says I'm such a good sport. Yeah. Tony's a girl. I know. Not that old, I do know the difference. Oh, okay. All right. So that one's a little bit short, that's all right. So it's a little bit short there, I should have made it a bit bigger, but we'll get by. All right, so now, we can start putting it all together. So we might just sew this one up first. Where did you get it? I, um, what, what did, crazy clocks. <laughs> Reject shop, Trev. <laughs> it's, I got it from the butchers. It's beef wood. <laughs> Should have a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's go. I'm just this. I'm just gonna. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna screw this together. Oh well, it starts with an S. All right, here we go. Go up there, back stitch, and then just and and I've I've found that's the wrong way to have it. No, you're much better off having your pins in the pointy end pointing towards you because then when you're feeling it through, you don't barb yourself. Uh, why do I know this? Because I've done it many, many times. Yeah. Now this is going to be the neck piece to go around the neck. And we'll worry about that in a little bit. Give you a thumbs up. Oh, I reckon. And hit the subscribe button. Thank you, Ken. Alright, we'll worry about that bit later on. 
Let's go back over here. So that's the um, neck bit, which we'll do later. I think I can get away with just using one of these now. Now we'll turn it upside down. No, we don't. We turned it up this way. Hang on. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I lost. Turn it up the right way. That's right. And then it goes on. All right. So what I've got marked here is that two pencil marks there are where the pockets go. So where'd the other... <laughs> where'd the other bit of template go? Here it is. It, it slithered down here, it did. And also on here is marked. So I put that there. Like that. And just on the fabric, just put a little pencil mark. Oh, hang on, no, I've got Taylor's chalk. I found, I found me Taylor's chalk. That, you're going to need one of those too. They're, they're good. I had to make that yesterday. Okay. And you said nice templates. They are, aren't they? We made them in woodworking masterclass. And flip it over. And on this side. So then I've got a, a mark there, a mark there. Now this, this is where I get confused. Which bit do I put on there? Is it it's pattern to pattern, isn't it? Okay. Now that goes there, like that. Pin that on. Get the other one. So you've got a right and a left pocket. They're both the same, but they just go on different ways. Line that up between those two marks that we had. Pin them. Hey, who would have thought Woodworking Masterclass <laughs> would end up being a sewing class. Sewing room. Okay. Now, these bits, they're the arms or the other side of the panel and the other side of the pocket. And again, get your template. <laughs> I was thinking that actually when 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 I build your other shed we could do joint streams because we'd be next door to each other. We could. We could. <laughs> that means we could, but we possibly won't. <laughs> okay, put those between the two bits. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my teacher over here in a minute. And the same on the other side. Turn your template over. Line it up. And where those marks are, put two marks. And then get your other bit and put it between those two marks. Yeah, that's slightly... <laughs> so this one's just a little bit shorter than I would have liked. So I'm just going to try and even it out a bit. It will be fine. I'll get I'll get the boss over because she'll tell me. Have I done good, darling? Is this the way it's meant to go? Yes, darling, that's the way. How do you know? Oh, you look. Oh, all right then. I start getting thingy with me. I'll, I'll take your bobbins away. <laughs> all, right. all right. So now we just got to sew these on. We sew them on first, don't we? Do. We do. Okay. Oh, it's been 13 years since. I, well, I made one yesterday, but 
Oh, what are we on? That one? Okay. So now we just sew these. Put them. Get the foot pedal around the right way. See what I mean about <laughs> with the pins pointing that way, my fingers there. Oh, it's not a good experience, I tell you. But it's one hopefully you can learn from, maybe. I can go back up there. Ah, this is better. Good night, Prunella. Good night, Prunella, you're off, my dear. Alright, well we'll most likely still be here when you come back up. Okay, there's that one, that one, that one. And then we do these. Ow! Much better when they're facing away from You need to make another pin I need to, I'll, I'll turn another bowl. And the last one. It, I'd say it takes longer to cut them out than it does to actually sell them, I reckon. Okay, now we're going to put it all together. Mm. What have we got? We got anything happening there? Oh, Haber works. Pr oh, Prunella, God bless Prunella, she's off. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to do one, Jeff. I think I, he, he said, I think you should put I tame the router. And I was going to put my router, my router is my favourite tool. Uh, so just so I understand this, Prunella is Prunella. Yes, yes, you got it, Tony. Um, thank you, Jeff, Julian. I suspect as much, but oh, there you go. All right, I'm going back over to this. Are we on that table now? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Now we just turn it around the other way. Doopy. Mm. Oh, no, we go that way, don't we? It's sticking upwards. Oh, I tell you what, Sue, I'm pleased you're here with me. I'm um, actually, I'm going to press these. I'm just going to. Yeah, I will. Because it looks nicer. It does not it. It does. Oh, I'm going to get some of that fabric conditioner and take it down the shed. Spray it on my veneers. <laughs> I don't know. Works well on fabric. Uh -huh. mm. All right. That's those. It looks like something's and jumped from a great height and landed on the concrete. You know, splat. <laughs> All right, we'll just do these two. And then we will be good to rock and roll. Oh. Hi, Earl. Yes, we're all fine. We're doing well. G'day, Earl. Yes, mate. I don't know if you got that one. We're all doing well. Oh, we're making, making a new apron. I've got a new apron on. Da -da, and I'm making another one, so I've got one in the top shed and one in the bottom shed, and it's fun. There we go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stream until this is finished, so don't worry, I won't leave you half hanging there. 
Now that goes on top of that, doesn't it, Suey? Yes, darling. See that? So you line up this point here with where that shoulder is, and I'm sure Suey's got a proper name for it, but I've got no idea. And again, oh, I think I'll go that way. And just make sure the edges all line up. No, I won't. I'll go this way. If I... <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, I'm just tight, Dean. It's not so much I'm a master. It's just oh, I don't like paying other people to do what I reckon I could do myself. Although I did make clothes. It well, went straight, didn't I? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. That's... I'll, I'll show them one of my quilts, which is that one, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it marvellous? doesn't matter. Wherever you go, there you go. That, that was one of my bloody cords. Did that come up? That's one of my quilts. What do I call that? A day at the beach. Yeah, Susie took one look at that and said, you're sick. I love, I love that sort of whacked out stuff. I think it's good. All right, let's go back to the other camera. Same with this one, just lie this one out. Have the point come into the point of the shoulder up there. What's that, Al? That's it. Mm. And, um, and these are my favourite pins. They're Hemline, they're, that's the brand name, Hemline Flower Pins. They're beautiful because you can iron over the top of them. They're nice and flat. Oh, they like me quilt. Yeah. There you go. Take them inside and show them some of the whacked out ones. <laughs> but I, look, honestly, um, I took a year off woodwork and did textile art. And what I learnt through quilting, I could bring back and put into marquetry and woodwork. It was just amazing. Max is a nice man. <laughs> All right, let's go and sew this together. And we're nearly there. So, oh, should I do that? Let me just, yeah, just, just, just have a look. No, no, I'll do that later. Okay, let's go and sew this sucker together. Oh. Now, the way you sew this is tricky. I like it. Oh, there's so many things you can do with sewing that I, th I think are really cool. I nearly got my finger there. Mm, I did. Cool. Now, you would have laughed. Would. You would. You're a sad woman. from the UK, but now he's in Canada. Oh. Oh, someone asked him where he was. Mm. Oh, where's he from? Yeah, Earl. Yeah, well, I've got to. I've got to make my own apron, Tony, because... No one else will do it for me. Okay, now this is that's <laughs> down in my workshop. You make your own. Now this is this this is the part that I love. This is where you get super creative. So you come up to the pocket, come in back stitch, come over again. So it's really strong there. And then what you're actually doing now is forming the pocket. And then you go around the outside of the pocket. Uh, you can keep it at a quarter inch. That bobbin tension is a bit strong. 
You can keep it at a quarter inch or you can go a little bit more. If you go a little bit more, it gives you a little bit more strength in your pocket, I think. Violin was down in the front shed. <laughs> well, that's where it is, mate, because when she comes down and has a whinge, I've, I've got the fence. But she's allowed the whinge in her sewing room. We had a debate about that. Is it my sewing room? Our sewing room? No, mine. So that's that bit there I've just double stitched and back stitched and whatever. That's the uh, top of the pocket. So you want that fairly strong. And then we just come back up here. Whoops. Make sure you can line these, this point in the corner of the shoulder up. Backstitch, finish it off. Okay, so that's one half done. We'll go over to the other half now. Tony said you so far, far better than she does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can get myself a job in the sweatshop. Okay, back, over, back. I just like doing that extra bit um, on the corners of the pockets because they, they do, yeah, they cop a bit of pressure. There was a pin in there I forgot about. Uh -huh. It made it, it made itself known to me it did. He yes. said, excuse me, but I'm still here. <laughs> and I ignored it. And then it got petulant. Okay, again, double strength here. Over, backstitch, over, backstitch. That'll do. We're, we're, we're rocking and rolling. You think we're nearly finished. We're not. Lots more Next, I'll show you how I uh, put the embroideries in. Mm. So that's what we've got to do now. So I'll just go over to the other table. I don't think so, Jack. What? If Steve is sewing today, does that mean that Sue's working on the bed next week? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Well, it's made, maybe. Yeah, I'll make it when it's made. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there is the basic apron, but that's only the skin. That's not the apron itself. And you see, by doing that, all of a sudden we've got those pockets. There you go. How cool is that? I think I love that sort of bit when that comes that comes right. So I'm just going to press that. Dean said very nice. Yeah, we got that. We got the magic to come yet, which I love putting the embroidery. Stay tuned, Susie said. That's it. Because when the next bit I do is going to have you scratching your head. Unless you're a sewer and then you'll go, oh, I know what he's doing. No, a lot of sewers don't. Don't they? No. Took me a while to figure this one out, but it's, <laughs> it's something that you can do, which is really, really cool. See, a lot of um, <coughs> aprons and that that you get done, if you ask for something to be embroidered on it, they just embroider it directly onto the fabric. Whereas I don't, and those of you that know me, no, I don't like doing things the easy way anyway. Okay. So there we have the apron outer, if you like. I'll just pop those. Pockets under there. Aren't those pockets cool? I just reckon they're the, 
they are the nicest thing. And you said you like spots. They, so do I, because you can put rubbish in them. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a gold border around woodworking masterclass, like the one I've got on. So I've got a bit of fabric there. Where's your thing, what you did for me, darlings? There, love. The shinkle. I'm just going to... That's what Susie just did before, so we'll just give that a bit of a press. And Susie can't think of anything to say. <laughs> that's an oxymoron, isn't it? <sighs> All right, now what I want to do is where's my bit of oh, tape? We'll need that in a minute, so I'll put that there. Oh. Oh, where's up? Oh, he's a bit. Okay, now this, this is the oval that I spoke about the other day and yesterday I made the clear for it, so it's an identical copy. The reason is I can place this to work out where I want the, this to be placed, but when it comes to going, I'm not sure if this is straight or not. So if I've got a clear one, I can then manipulate this until I get exactly where I want. So I've marked off on a stick here, this is high tech measuring. That mark there goes at the top of the apron. The oval comes up to it. And I think I've got about six inches either side, which will give me center. So that's six and an eighth. John said he's that's six shot. and eight. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, now there's several ways you can do this. You can, um, I'm going to eyeball this, but you can actually crease it up in the middle and crease everything and line the creases up. But I'm just going to eyeball this. Because let's face it, it's an apron. Now there's the oval that I want to use. So I'm going to place this over the top. Pin it. This is the frame that's going to go around the uh, woodworking masterclass thing. So again, I'll measure down, put a mark closely enough. Here we go. And measure an in, in, uh, six, what is it? Six and an eighth or six and a, six and a quarter. So I'll come in six and a quarter and I'll come in here six and a quarter. And I'll place this like that. Actually, I think I'll, I'll look better if it's this one. It looks pretty straight to me. Just double check. Six and a quarter. Whoops. That's six and a half. Okay, so come back that way a bit. Six and three eight. Six and three eight. I think I've come down too far. There we go. Okay. Now, draw a circle around there. Well, uh, watch on, because here we go. All right. 
So now, back it's got to be Trevor. No, it's Ken. Oh. <laughs> um, ooh. I'm going to, I really might have to put the light on just for the, mm. no, no, we'll, we'll give it a go. Here we go. I'm just following that Taylor's chalk line. On that oval. Still going there. One, one, two. No, oh, it's still streaming. Okay. Well, the look of it. Mm. What's it say? She, Sue, and Steve have a great day and be safe. Oh, good night. Oh, Dean's offline. That means he's run out of. He's run out of whatever. Okay, so I'm just following this oval that I drew. And you've got to stay as close on the line as you possibly can. And you will see why shortly. Do you know how hard it is to do without a light? Oh. We just, we, we just, we accommodate, don't we, Dan? We do. Hey. Okay, so nearly there, nearly there. Okay, just line it up so it's nicely done. A couple of back stitches. There you go, we're back. Oh, I just, we got a very delicate connection here. and I just knocked it, which knocked us out, but we're back, we're back. Uh, apple ash, I usually put a pocket all the way across about the midriffs and subdivide. Yeah, look, I used to do that, but I don't like it because it gets full of muck. So, and I don't like the ones with, uh, for the pencils because you can poke yourself in the eye with those. Okay, so that's the first oval I follow the line. The second one doesn't matter. Come in, do whatever you like. Doesn't have to be super accurate. So, you know, come in about half an inch or something like that. You can actually get away without doing this one, but it does get a little bit harder on the next step. So here we go, nearly all the way around. I, I get nervous, Susie keeps on looking over at me. Okay. Just got to make sure he does it right. <laughs> all right, so that's what I've done there. So I've sewn around the outside and then on the inside. And what we do now is get a pair of scissors. What have we got? Woodwork, Andy, we had an aunt that made a bed cover when we were kids, but left on. <laughs> mm, great. So what you do now is you cut between these two lines, but as close as you can to the outside line. Can you do that with those scissors? Yeah. That'll be the phone. Trent. I'll just tell him I'm streaming and I'll give him a call later. Hi, Trent. Uh, it's, it's Sue. Uh, he's, he's streaming at the moment, so he said he'll give you a call back. That's all right. No problems. No worries, babe. 
He must be up here picking stuff up. That's me chisel man. As, as close as you can, you can almost cut on that line. I don't like doing it that close. But just take care with this bit. The closer you get, the finer line you're going to have, which possibly at the moment doesn't mean anything to you, but it will very, very soon. So just, this is why it's good to have scissors that are sharp in the point. So you can just cut with the point. You don't have to go down the throat of the scissor. Whoop. We're nearly there. Just let him have his toys to himself, but I'll share mine sometimes. What did she ask? Well, if Sue wants to use the router, Louise, she's more than welcome yeah. to come down. Yeah, Louise said, seeing I'm letting you use my toys. Excuse me, my machine, my scissors, my fabric, my goodness. Nearly there. there. This bit, you shouldn't really talk. <laughs> ah! Talk and cut at the same time, but hey, who cares? Okay, last little bit coming up here. All right. Well, that last little snip might have been a bit close. No, I think we'll, we'll get away with that. All right, now this piece here, throw it in the bin. Now what you do is you push this through the hole. Peyton, uh, Yvonne's going to try and make an apron. Good. Okay, so I've pushed that that through the hole and it's come out the other side. I'll go and press it and then you'll see what it does. You'll be impressed. Square wheel says, remember Steve, watch yours is hers Yeah, good on you, square wheel. Thanks for that. Like I need reminding. All right. So what I'm doing here, hang on. Whoa, let's spin this one around. So you can see, so you can see. Oh, this is, this is horrible. I want to be in my shed. There we go, okay. So we put this in here and we pull this through. This is the inside of the apron. And then if you're lucky, like me, and you've got a wife that's got all this fabric stuff, Give it a spray. Pull it down. Um, Jeff said that he's got to say that you're well behaved when you're with me. <laughs> that's, that's called fear, Jeff. All right. Now, what that has done has given me a nice... Hey, working with these cameras when I don't know where they are. It's giving me a nice border on the inside. So I'm just going to have a look at that and see if I need to adjust it at all. So we'll change that one over. Okay, we might just bring that up. I'll just a little bit more there. Yep, that's nice. So that's framed. Appalash said she likes that process. It's, it's cool, isn't it? And then we put this 
there and then we drop it over the top And then we manipulate it till we get it to where we want it. So I said I didn't, this is done by eye, so if it's a smidgen out, so what? Okay. Yeah, the press is good. That. Well, mind you, you can wear the trousers, and I'll tell you when the when you put them on. Okay, now we pin around that. Blood. I, I, I did. I found the end of it. So that's what we've got now. So now we've just got to sew that in. So we can do that. How? Oh, we we still got ways to go. Tony said you're a perfectionist. <laughs> Far from it, mate. You can get tablets, you know, that stops you from being one of those. Uh. Louise said it looks awesome. Thanks, Louise. You can leave the backing on if you like. It makes no never mind really. Okay, so we'll just sew that on there. My threads come out again, Suey. I've got to have the, got, the light on. I've got to have the light on the, the thread. Thread the needle. Oh, I'm not that good. There we go. Thanks, Jeff. That I've trained you well. Ha! Fair, Jeff. I keep telling you that. Okay. Now I just go behind that orange or gold or whatever it is, called, I believe, sewing in the ditch. That way the thread doesn't show. And if it does, who really cares? Because let's face it, it's a flipping work apron. It's not, <laughs> let's not lose sight of that. underneath there. So no. I don't know. Wait a minute. Ah, it's just tear out stuff. Which we don't really need. There we go. That was getting in the in the way of things, it's all right now. And it's called tear away. And you just saw why. Because <laughs> you can tear it away. Needle, the threads come out again.
There we go. Little bit in the green there, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. As let's face it, day down the workshop, and it's going to be dirty anyway. So who cares? <laughs> who cares indeed? Okay, backstitch. All right. Now that's all stitched in. Whoops, there we go. That's all stitched in. So just cut off. Any of the waste. It doesn't matter, you can leave it on there if you like. It's just bulk anyway. And these are left-handed scissors, in case anyone's wondering. It's a great thing about that is no one pinches my scissors, because no one else can use them. Okay. So it's starting to, starting to look like an apron now. Okay. Um, Max is asking if the material is made out of canvas or cotton, just in order No, it's um, drill, cotton, uh, cotton drill. Max, where are we? Cotton drill, Max. Uh, okay. All right, so now we've got the apron laid out. We gotta put a backing on it. Now in order to do that, there's a few other things we have to do. As always. That's there. This is the neck tie. And as you can most likely tell, it's the wrong way in. So what we do with that, I went down the blacksmithing shop yesterday and made a special tool. It's called a, a dumb weight inside out puller outer. <laughs> what you do is you get a safety pin, put the safety pin through there, lock it like that. So it's like that. Get the weight and drop it into the tube like that and then just let it go all the way through out the other end and then you just like First bit's a bit tricky to get it started. Um, woodwork learner said, is it all right for Steve to stream longer, seeing it's a sewing workshop? Yes. I'll stream until I've got this finished. 
There you go. As and soon same as you, time with him, it's all right. As soon as you get it inverted like that, it's just like a sausage skin. You pull this end and here we go. Hang on, let me just, I wonder. I just wonder, wait a minute, I'm just going to try something. Um, there you go. All right. So it's like a sausage skin and you pull this end and it will invert. Supposedly. Supposedly. There we go. Tony said that's a long name for a tool. It is. <laughs> and you see it comes out the other end. I'm going to patent that, Tony, too. <laughs> A long line way to the inverter pull a router. So that's it. So now we've got the right size, but you've got the seam on the inside so you don't see the ugly stitching. And then you take that pin out. You can, if you like, uh, sew one end off. You just invert it and sew it off, which I wasn't going to do because I didn't do it to the other one, but I will because I can. There you go. So I've just pushed that inside itself so we get a nice... Nice edge? Yeah, nice edge. doesn't have to be perfect. And I'll go over to the ironing press, which is over there. Oh dear. Which is over there. And we'll press it. Oh, I made I made the last one, I think, ages ago. Doesn't matter, it still does a job. We've got that other one we should put together too. Okay, now, downside is you can't bring it down on your fingers. I wish I could, because then you can guarantee you're going to get a nice crease. Here we go. And just for the record, yes, it's very, very hot. And we'll do this last bit. I never thought I would ever stream <laughs> making an apron. That's true. Okay, let's go. It's a bit like pressing veneer with wood glue, uh, with hide glue. You put it in, give it a quick press, and then if it's all lined up, give it a longer press. All right. Oh, look, I agree. I, I, I think high glue would be the way to go. All right, so all I've done there is just I've stitched over the end. That's all I did. And it really doesn't matter because you're not going to see it anyway. Okay. Are you going to turn the light off? I'll turn the light off. There we go. And we'll change it and we'll go over to here. Now we've got to get the hardware happening. I've got two bits of... I did have two bits, but the other is the other bit. And I want one of those. And I want two of those. So I've got three. And oh, there you go. I've even got a made in Australia patch. I, sh I should put that on too. Where's my scissors? Where's me where's my scissors done gone? Drookie? Oh, they're over here. Stop panicking. Don't panic! 
Mm. So, what I want, this is for the adjuster that holds the neck bit in. Thank you, Steve, for doing this stream. All the broadcasts you do are very enjoyable, and thank you to me for sharing my space. Oh, that's nice, Tony. That was Tony, was it? Thanks, Tony. Okay. So I'll cut that bit off. And we pin that inverted just in from the top corner. Just in from here. And we'll pin it. And John said everybody's off to bed except for him and Eagle. Ah. There you go. So that goes there. Now this bit, leave the bit that you've got nice out. The other bit, put there the same distance in from there. So it's equal. That's your neck strap. Then pin that. If you want, you could do another pin. No, I won't. No, we won't. Ah, okay. Now these, oh, what I've got to do with this, I've got to do a little bit extra sewing. Um, it's a good idea, this is nylon webbing. So if you've got a lighter or something, just put it over the edge. Yeah, that's very hot too. And that'll stop it from fraying. On all four bits. Thread this one through here. And put that. Um, I'll figure out where they go. Where's it go? <laughs> I've got a look at the one I've got on. Okay, that goes here. With a pin. And correspondingly, the other side, you just have a straight bit. I've got to take this apron off to sew. Hang on, I've got an apron here. <laughs> that goes on the end, you silly billy. Okay, forget what I just said. It goes here. It goes there. On the outside. And the same with this bit. That's making more sense now. Get them straight if you can. It's good. All right, now we get that bit of calico we cut earlier. Got that other bit of calico? Or... This bit will do. What was that bit there? I'll just try and find one that's not quite as creased as the next one. I'm just going to iron this. So we get it nice and flat. And I don't know if I worked in the sweatshop, I'd have 50 of these made by now. <laughs> but I don't and it's not, so I haven't. And tomorrow, I'm going to be doing woodwork. Hot, Suey. Burn your fingers. Mm. 
Oh, the oh well, you got it because you got to take the stuff off. Here we go. Uh, nearly all done. Nearly all done. The flatter you can start with, the flatter you're going to finish with. Isn't that right, Suey? Yeah. See, she agrees with me. Okay. Here we go. Whoop. Last bit. All right, I've done that. So, uh, I didn't realise you couldn't see that. So now this goes over the whole lot, like that. And it should be about the same size. What? Oh, okay. All right. Now we pin it up. When you get to the um, points that we pinned on the inside, you take those pins out and pin through, like this one here, we'll take that one out and then pin through everything. Well, there you go, like that. Avon loves us. Oh, there you go. Hey, what's not to love? Thanks, Avon. All right, now this one up here, we take a pin out, put that back, pin that, put another one in the top. Tell you what, this stream's gone quicker than I thought it would go. Yeah. See, I just because I got you here, darling. Oh, right, okay. That's it. Oh, I think I'll go for coffee afterwards, but hey. Yeah, oh, yes! How could I forget that? Okay, we're on the downhill run now, almost. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. No, what I didn't do, what I should do. Oh. Mm. Yeah, look, I will do it. I wasn't going to, but I will. Put a farm gate on that webbing. Oh, okay, yeah. Cause, cause people might want to know. Absolutely. Then across the bottom here. Okay, you don't have to do this next step, but I'm gonna do I should have done it before I pinned it up. This thing here, because it's flopping around, I'm gonna put it's called a farm gate. Um, 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 um what do you call it? Not joint, what do you call it? seam? No. What do you call things in a farm gate? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, when you do the... I don't know. I don't know. I just got cross. Well, there you go. See? Yeah. I, I would have got that wrong because it was an exam question. I remember when I did my riggers course. Yeah. It's just for extra strength. That's all it's for, really. But I will change thread because that's green and this is black. So I'll have this charcoal. Julian reckons that time flies when I'm having fun. Uh, when you're having fun? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it does. <laughs> <laughs> She's enjoying this because she gets to boss me around. Huh. Uh. Oh, dear. Okay, there. Oh, 
there, we'll go there, we'll go there, we'll go there, we'll go there. We'll go through there, down there, and this one's got to go in there too. There you go. Then through there, around there. I've, I've got to, I've got to use, I've got to use the light because I can't thread it otherwise. There you go. And we're going to change the bobbin as well because that's green and we want black. What, for cutting your thread? Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. That's what I said, the difference between this one and the old one was. Oh, that's loose. I'm going to be the problem there if I put that one in. There we go. And that goes in there. Look, sight unseen. <laughs> yeah, that's for... So you don't get a great big lump of mm. bobbin thread coming out. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll cut that off. Okay, and this is a farm gate. Stitch. And it just gives it strength. You've never done these. I've done them, but I didn't know they were cool. Can't see it was gone. Hasn't gone all the way. I've only done half a farm gate. Come on, in you go, here you go. Okay, so I don't think you can see that there, but that's called a farm gate. There you go. You learned, you've learned two things today, haven't you? Tell me what the other one is. Well, that bobbin off cutting thing, and Oh, yes, okay. Yep. See? Five, five it's, it's good. Good days. Good times. Happy days. All right, so I'm going to put this back in there now. I'm just going to make sure it goes in the right way. So it's got to go facing up, facing up. There we go. Okay. So we'll put that in there and we'll pin that like that. Now we sew the sucker up. Easy peasy. What was that? Oh, what was that? Oh. I always, it doesn't matter where you start, I always start at the bottom though. There we go. About halfway along is good. Get the foot control so your foot can touch it. Forward, back, forward. Um, can you get me that? Oh no, you can't. I was going to say, oh, we'll just put the pins there. Getting to the end of the stream, I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> I 
Bada bum. I'm just making sure that one's still there. So we'll come back to that one. No, not that one, that one. Can you just move those when they come off? Thank you. Okay, now I can feel that coming up to a piece of webbing. So I don't want to go 100 mile an hour there. But what I will do is go up and down on the webbing a few times so I know that it's held in. Whoops. Up, back, up, back, up, just to make sure. Then we go around the corner. up to where those brass rings were and again that's going to be a high pressure point so go over and back a couple of times on it it's over once back over again coming on to the other neck strap Go over it, back, over, back. And then we're coming back down the other side of the apron now. Oops, thank you. And we're just about there. Come up to the other side of that webbing, hold it where it is, and just come up and again, over and back on it a couple of times. There you go. Nearly there, a few more pins to go. That's it, Suey. Okay, now we sew it up to about, oh, I don't know, 60 mil, three inches, two and a half inches. That'll do. Backstitch. Cut it. Now, apron is finished. But I can hear you saying it's inside out, you tis was. All right. This, this is what I refer to as giving birth. Now, <laughs> no idea. you put your hand up that bit that you haven't sewn. And we'll come back over onto this camera. Mm. And I'll move that back. And here you go. So hand up where that um, opening is there between where you started and where you finished. Reach all the way up to the top of the apron. Grab hold of the brass rings. There's the brass rings. And then you just tease it through. Uh, 
and he said, congratulations. <laughs> it's a baby apron. Okay, get a pencil and then poke the pencil into that opening and you go to all the corners and poke the pencil into the corners so you get the squarish corner you can get. Did you say you had a new pencil? Yeah, that one's a better one. Longer pencil is better. So. Poke it into the corner, run it around, come up to the next corner, pull any dead threads off. This is the corner near the neck strap, you just square that out. Over to the other corner, square that one out, come back down to the other waist strap, square that out. Now you're down, back down to the bottom of the apron, get that last corner. which is there. Grab both ends of the bottom. Give them a, when you tighten it, give it a flick. This part here. Oh, Apple Hash, thank you for that. Hard energy out to you, my friend. He's just joined. Um, and when you pull that, it doubles in on itself, follows the stream. So I'll go over to the press and we'll just press it. Whoop. Press it in. Give it a squirter. Fabric, whatever it is. And then where that join is, we go over to the machine. And we just do an external stitch there for whatever length. Is that blast? <laughs> Threads come out again. Yes, John from uh, us at Woodworking Masterclass, you look after yourself. I know what a difficult job it is. There we go. So just that little opening that we pulled everything through. I've got to find it now. There it is. Just that little opening there. I'm just going to do an external stitch. Right on the bottom. That should be, oh, didn't, didn't quite make it all there. <laughs> okay, so that's stitched up now on the bottom. And on the top, we'll just press it and see how it looks. There we go. <laughs> and that that's how you make an over the top woodworking apron. <laughs> Bada -bum. Who would have thought? <laughs> That's it. 
That's Andy. Oh, Andy. Thanks, Andy. Nearly finished it. Routers. <laughs> oh, we got to do oh, what? Got one more bit to put on and then it's finished. Oh. Just gotta thread this on. I gotta I gotta work out how they go on. Oh dear. Okay. So it goes. through here and back down here is it might be the other way around through there and then back down there perhaps that's it and we've just got a thread this through here is that me on the table that's me on the table yeah, yeah. okay that's it let's try it on try it on try it on try it on Take this one off. And we'll put this one on. Adjust that up a bit. And we have pockets. And there we go. Another apron. Well, oh, I tell you. What a day, I never thought I would ever be making aprons on woodworking masterclass. But there you go. Now let me just come back down here and we can have this one here. Oh, well that's it, did you enjoy that? It was good, yeah. It was different, Julie's wasn't it? just gone to bed. Uh, what a, well, time for me to use a chainsaw. Yeah, make some snoring noises. Can you believe it, Steve? You've been streaming this for nearly three hours and we're all still here. I'm impressed, Tony. I'm even more impressed, Susie lets me. Don't complain, Ken. He'll be witnessing him finishing something. Um, Ken, I'm just about to wrap it up. <laughs> yes, Ken, I've finished now. That's it. Hey, hard energy out to you, Apple Hash. Thank you so much for the follow or the, the joining up. Ah, oh, but that's it. I'm, I'm, I tell you what, I'm not as tired as I would do in woodworking. Mm. But it's, it's just one of those things. But there you go, we've done a joint stream. Yeah, we have. He gets a booch. Mwah! See? No, we did good. Thank you for everyone in there. I'm sorry if I wasn't chatting too much, but Susie was doing the chat. So I hope that worked for you. Tomorrow I've got no idea. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I'll see what happens when I wake up. Uh, but till then, this is Steve and Sue shutting the shed door yes, and saying remember to keep it sharp but more importantly keep it safe don't stick your fingers where they're going to get bitten and yes. we look forward to having your company on a stream i think i'll do a single stream tomorrow because yes, you charge now you charge too much 
Oh. I cut an apple turner every time I do a stream with you. Uh, nothing wrong with that. There's got to be benefits somewhere. Yeah, no, I'm all benefits from me. I do mind about you fanging out on apple turner. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's true, you do. No, she does. I bought her an apple turnover the other day. She had the apple turnover and gave me the bag to put in the rubbish. Um, <laughs> that's 50-50. <laughs> But idea. look after yourself, be kind to each other and follow the rules and we'll get all through this together. Yeah. Thank you for your support. Thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for people that have joined. Yeah. Um, if you're new, please hit the subscribe button notification. I will be doing another one tomorrow. So I look forward to having your shed. Your shed. <laughs> I'm better when I go tired. I'm yeah. looking forward to having your shed near a company, which could be on a bench very very soon um yeah no that's it i'm going i've had enough I was, I was tired all right thank you everybody god bless look after yourselves and i look forward to having your company tomorrow at the same time when we will do something totally different and he will be in his workshop i will i've been told and susie you can say goodbye bye bye oh to them